Hello fans of Off The Mainstream. I am Nigel Duckbottom, with the BBC. Today we meet with presidential candidate and current Texas governor, Rick Perry. Thank you for agreeing to this candid and truthful interview, Governor Perry. I'm real happy to be here to have a little old chat with you, Nigel. Say, partner, have you noticed how tall I am? And I got real good hair. Yes, I have taken note that you are quite tall and you have very nice hair. One might actually call it presidential hair. My hair is better than any other candidate except Michelle. But then, she's crazy. So it really doesn't much matter. Well, an interesting observation. So then, what do you think about the other Republicans in the race? They're like a gift. A big, dumb, bucket of hammers gift. They're the perfect storm. They will beat each other senseless, while I look, all folksy and modest. God has delivered a bunch of idiots for me to run against. And Obama? That boy has inherited a mess from George that we haven't let him clean up. It's a hoot. We stop him at every turn. It's a wonderful world and I have a great track record as governor. No sir, you actually have a terrible track record. Oh, Nigel, you are hilarious. But, you will never get to be president. Tall man with good hair get elected president. I'll have me a bunch of TV commercials with happy Texans that I'll be paying to say I'm good. That will make me look great. The whole darn country will vote for me because it is easier than thinking. Thinking is hard. I am also tall and have good hair. And don't you forget folksy. I am real folksy. But your record as governor is dismal. Your record is terrible. Well, Nigel? That ain't how it works in the USA. I'll just repeat the same slogan over and over, until people believe it. I won't talk about the real facts and no one will know because nobody will see your little old interview with me. All the facts are public record. But people will just watch the TV commercials. People like sound bites. They let me do the thinking for them. Remember, Nigel old buddy, I'm real folksy. Sadly, that is very true. So, then, let's talk about your record as Texas governor. Just how did you become governor? That's a funny story. I was lieutenant governor and the governor at the time quit the job to run for president. So I inherited the job. Just like the Queen of England. Yes, yes. Quite humorous. In a twisted, Dickensian sense. But how? Were you re-elected three times? How did you become the longest serving governor in Texas history? Pretty dadgum simple. I have the biggest corporate donors in the history of the state. They can be some real grateful folks. When I got tort reform pushed through, the lawyers went nuts and the bucks really flowed from their checkbooks. But what about the poor people of your state and the underemployed people who were hurt by that? Well the answer is mighty simple, boy. They did not donate to my campaign. How do you plan to create jobs and fix the national economy if you become the president? A plan really doesn't matter. Have you met? The American voters? I have good TV commercials. When they see how tall and folksy I am and what good hair I have they'll vote for me. They will vote for me because it is easier than thinking. Thinking is hard. I'm also folksy. Real folksy. How can you say something so ridiculous? Well partner it worked in Texas three times. So it should work again just fine. That's because the guy with the best TV commercials wins. I will keep saying I created jobs, even though 26% of the jobs I created didn't last because I stole them from other states. Those companies just moved on to another state. But it still makes my numbers look good. Good numbers makes good TV. You just need to use the right numbers. But your state is still growing jobs isn't it? That's what my TV ads say. But is it true? You're such a funny guy but you're not a very bright guy. You've kinda missed the whole point of truth. Texas's overall prosperity growth was the 8th slowest, that is slowest, boy, in the country from 1998 to 2008. Texas has the highest proportion of minimum wage jobs and the lowest median wage in the country. But guess what? 
Those minimum wage jobs still count as a job and those people don't donate to my campaign. The people will vote for me because it is easier than thinking. Thinking is hard. I'm also tall and unfolksy and have good hair. Your TV ads say you will reduce the size of government. Is that what you did in Texas? Nigel. You're making me laugh again. Since I became governor the total spending of state government has doubled. Yes, I said spending has doubled. It's hard work. To spend that much tax money. I am sure it is. So will you fix our national debt? Like you fixed Texas? I can do the same great job for the country as I did for Texas. While I have been governor our state debt has doubled. That's a 100% increase in debt. We have a higher debt ratio than California. Hooray, we are beating California in debt ratio and I can do that across the whole debt burn country. But that is abominable. Your spending doubled and your state debt doubled. No one will vote for you with a record like that. You are such a funny little guy. You still ain't caught on. Have you met? Any voters? They will vote for me because it is easier than thinking. Thinking is hard. I am also tall, and have good hair. Oh dear lord. I may have to give up. At the very least then. Tell us about your education record. Education is very important for our children's future. I am very proud of Texas schools. I worked hard to cut costs and now Texas schools rank 36th in the nation in high school graduation rates. An estimated 3.8 million Texans do not have a high school diploma. We rank 49th in verbal SAT scores, 47th in literacy and 46th in average mathematics SAT scores. We rank 33rd in the nation on teacher salaries. We are not the bottom of the barrel, but we can sure see it from where we are. Why are you so happy and proud? Texas ranks near the bottom of all education ranks. If voters would read a little bit they wouldn't vote for me. But they like my TV commercials. They don't have to read them. Have you met any voters? They'll vote for me because it is easier than thinking. Thinking is hard. I am also tall and have good hair. That's all that counts. Why did you appoint Don McElroy to the State Board of Education? I appointed Don because he is a dentist. And he likes to pray. Voters just love it when you pray. I had a big prayer meeting so people could see me pray and act humble. Buddy, that makes for some great TV. I do not think that qualifies him to be on the Board of Education. I appointed Don as the chairman of the State Board of Education because Don believes evolution is a bunch of hooey and that the Earth is only 6,000 years old. As leader of the State Board, Don pushed strongly to teach creationism in the public schools. That's a heap easier to learn than that science stuff. So, Governor Perry, can you summarize your accomplishments while in office? I have a great record as governor. Since I have been the governor of Texas, our state debt has almost doubled. So that's nearly a 100% increase right there. We are ranked nearly at the top for the lowest SAT scores. That means only a couple of other states are worse than Texas. I worked very hard to double the number of minimum wage jobs. I signed an executive order to give girls a vaccine that was found to be dangerous. That was the same day the drug company, who makes the vaccine, donated to my campaign. 473 people have been executed while I have been in office. I am always honest. You can always believe me, just like when I gave a definite no. When asked if I would run for president and leave the office of governor. Please, remember to watch my TV ads, because it is easier than thinking. Thinking is hard.